there are two types of bottom up parsing operator precedence parsing alert parsing and they both cover a wide range of grammars slr that is simple alert parser alert most general alert parser and alert that is intermediate alert parser that is look ahead alert parser then it comes to shift reduce parsing bottom up parsing which then is uh, substituted by shift reduce then alert parsing which is again divided into three sub categories SLR parsing, LR parser, and LLR parser. Which is E dash produces dot E, E produces dot B B, uh, and the B produces dot C B or dot B. Uh, so here is the step two, uh, where uh, the where we draw the con conical collection of LR zero item or DFT by uh, using the following grammar. The grammar is E produces B B, and the B produces C B or D. We have to implement the following string, which is C C D D dollar. First, first step, we have to augment the grammar. E dash produces dot B, E produces dot B B, and B produces dot C B or dot D. In this second step, we have to draw a conical collection of L R zero item or T F T. So here is the same thing as before. E dash uh, produces dot B, E produces dot B B, and B produces dot C B or D dot D. So here is an example of the L R zero parser. By using the following grammar, the grammar is E produces BB and B produces CB or D. We have to implement the following string. The string is CCDD dollar. Uh, at the first step, we have to augment the given grammar, which is E dash produces dot B A dot E, E produces dot B B, uh, and B produces dot CB or dot D. In this step two, uh, we have to draw a canonical collection of LR zero item or DFD. Uh, so it is our initial state where e dash produces dot e, e produces dot b b, and b produces dot c b or dot d. Uh, for this b, we have uh, produce uh, open this b and we get b produces dot c uh, b or dot d. Uh, then we have to uh, we have uh, passed the c from this the initial state and got uh, b produces c dot b, and for this we uh, again open the b and Get B produces dot C B or dot D, and for this uh, D, we pass the D and get B produces do, uh, D dot, and this is also a final state. This is the uh, also a final state, and now this one again uh, for this one we again pass uh, C and we get the same thing as I three uh, and this one B produces C dot B and again this. And after we getting this, uh, again we have uh, passed the uh, B and we uh, sorry pass the C and we get the same thing again. And for the passing the D, we uh, get this one again. And for the first one, uh, when we pass C, we get the B. Uh, sorry, when we pass B, we got the B produces C B dot, and this is also a, fi a final state. So uh, uh, after that, we have numbered this. Uh, this is I zero, the initial state. This is I one, the first final state. This is I two intermediate state. This is I three also an intermediate state. This is I four a final state, and then this is I five. It's also a final state, and I six is also a final state. Now we have uh, numbered the productions that uh, E dash E is zero. It's a fake grammar. So we will not give uh, this any number. Uh, so this E produces BB is our first production. D produces TB is second production, and uh, or D is our third production. In this step four, it's the parsing table. Uh, here we uh, uh, define state, action, and go to. Uh, the states are I zero, I one, I two, I three, I four, and I five and I six. And these actions are uh, here is the terminal parts C D and dollar dollar is always there, and here is the go to part where the uh, we uh, uh, wrote the uh, variables. It's E and B. So in the first step, we <coughs> type back uh, that here is go E to I one. So this is the first. Uh, this is our first E. We uh, give the first production. So we uh, write the first one. One. Here is our parsing table. This is state, uh, action, and go to. 
in the state this is i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 and i6 and the action here is the terminal c d and always a dollar and is the go to part where e, is, uh, e and v are variables uh, the first uh, in the first state i0 uh, the first variable i1 is the first go to uh, first state first go to state uh, that's why we give this uh, number 1 for this one this b we uh, write it the state uh, give it a state to second state this one from i1 there is no output so it is blank finds b uh, bb dot so uh, we give it the uh, name state 5 as state 5 and from this one uh, the c will pass to this i3 so uh, from i2 to c this is s3 and the d part will uh, while going to this one so this i4 so we get the uh, s4 then from i3 there is Uh, there is a uh, final state going of them. So it is I six going uh, give uh, the state uh, six. Uh, I five and I six also there is no outgoing for everything. Uh, for C is rule number three, D is rule number three, and dollar is also rule number three. And of the I five state, which is a also a final state, there is no outgoing anywhere. So uh, we can reduce it by rule number one for C. It is rule number one. For B also it is rule number one and for it also rule number one. And for the I six state, uh, I I six state, uh, it's uh, it, it is also a final state, so there is no outgoing loop. So this is uh, uh it is reduced by rule number two. Rule number uh, for C it is rule number two. For D it also it is uh, rule number two and for it is also rule number two. Where is our uh, production rule? Uh, e dash uh, uh, e dash produces e e produces b b c b the second one or d this is third one so this is our step five the stack implementation uh, and this is the our uh, production rule uh, e dash uh, uh, produces e e produces b b it's the first production rule b produces c b it's second or d is third and we have to uh, implement this c c d d uh, dollar uh, string At first, we have uh, in the stack we have dollar zero, and in, in the input we have c c t d and dollar. The first action is shift c into the stack and moving it uh, to the third state or i three. This is uh, then the stack is a dollar zero c three, and the input it is c d d and dollar. Then again we have to shift c. The state uh, S3. Then uh, by this the stack is dollar uh, zero C3 C3. Uh, then the input is DD dollar. Then we have to shift the D to the S4 zero C3 C3 B6. And the input is dollar uh, D dollar. Then again we have to reduce B uh, to CB. Then we get a uh, dollar zero B two B five, and the input is dollar, and reduced it to uh, E two B B, and the stack is dollar zero E one. Our input is dollar, and it is um, accepted by the stack. The kind of derivation is used by Ella Parser. So the options are rightmost, leftmost in reverse, rightmost in reverse, leftmost in reverse. So obviously, it is rightmost in reverse because the bot Ella Parser is a bottom up parser. So the answer will here will be the outmost is the reverse. Next question. Next is a gate CSE question twenty nineteen, and here we are given a grammar where S produces A A, A produces B D, B produces D or epsilon, and D produces D or epsilon. So A B D and epsilon are indexed in the following table as three, two, one, and zero. Now. The question is compute the follow set of the non-terminal B and write the index value for the symbols in the follow set in the descending order. Uh, for example, if the follow set is A B D F dollar dollar then, dollar, then the answer should be three two one zero. So let's come to the explanation part first. So here you can see uh, follow B equals to follow D union follow A. Now as we As we can see, D is epsilon. Then follow B is equals to follow A. So if that is the condition, then follow B equals to D union A. Now if we combine them, then it, in the set we will get A and D, 
and as a equals to 3 and d equals to 1 then the descending order equals to 3 1 so we are here with the result 3 1 so the answer is between 3 1 and 3 1 31 and 31 we match the following combination where we are given with the two sets group one and group two and here you can see clearly the lexical analyzer matches with dfa minimization and passing matches with the production tree and register allocation matches with the graph coloring and expression evaluation matches with the post order traversal next so this is gate cac 2013 question which for which here goes as follows what is the minimum number of reduced moves that can be taken by a bottom up passer for a grammar and no epsilon and unit production that is a produces epsilon and a produces a to parse a string with n tokens so here clearly the answer will be n minus 1 and n by 2 and 2n minus 1 will not be the case and similarly goes to 2 to the power n b a a now we have to tell which of the following string are in l star so over here the options are a b a a b triple a b a a get the answer 1 2 and 4 Taylor parser can be constructed to recognize all uh, programming language constructs for which constructed grammars can be written the Taylor parser method is the most general non backtracking shift reducer parsing method an error parser can detect a uh, synthetic error the class of grammars that can be parsed using error method or superset of the uh, class of grammars that can be parsed with the predictive or error methods thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.